Hello, welcome to the video for what is main material, the light mass property. I have gone ahead, I pulled up a quick example here. Let's go ahead and pull up one of the materials and check out the light mass property section. Light mass property section is available to most of your shaders and it has three properties at this current time. We have cast shadow as mast, diffuse diffuse or diffuse boost and export resolution scale we're going to go and cover those now so i have a default material here it is just a green color with a opacity mask on it kind of like a little circle and if we look at it in the scene it's applied to this cube and you can see the reflection on the floor because i'm using a transparent material cast shadows as masked basically turns the shadows that are cast into masked shadows rather than translucent shadows. It's intended, for example, if you wanted to have your shadows be more detailed, more hard edged. For if you look at this example, these are our normal translucent shadows. They have a little bit of feathering on the top because of the translucency and they actually have the green color from our material. This right here is the same thing, except I have that cast shadow as masked checked. You'll notice we no longer have our green, and we have a much more harder defined edges. It's using the mask of our transparency for our shadow itself. The original material is still translucent, it still has the feathering, it still has the colors, but our shadow is a harder edged masked material. So that is what our cast shadow as mask does. Like I said, it's primarily used if you want more of a harder edged defined shadow rather than something that may be slightly feathered or not as clearly defined. So it's got its use cases. Now our next option is here and is displayed and this is going to be our diffuse boost. Let me go ahead and pull up the material that I'm using for the diffuse boost. And we'll see that I've set this to a value of 10. The one on my right is a normal material. It has a normal value of one, which is our default. The one on our left is the exact same setup, except it has a value of a diffuse boost of 10. And what you're seeing basically is the diffuse light, which is our bounce light. Our, we have a normal light coming in. It's hitting this material here and it's basically interacting with the material and it's making the light red. It's It's got a little bit of a red tint or a red glow because it's a solid red color for our material. So if we look at our normal version, we have our yellow of our ground, our red of our wall, and our black of our shadows interacting and we're getting this little red global illumination, a bit of diffuse lighting in the background for red. The diffuse boost basically multiplies that and makes it more apparent. As you can see, basically it bleeds a little bit more and we have a much brighter red shadow that we're seeing in the background. And that was accomplished with our diffuse boost. You can set this up, this by default is a value of one and you can set it to any other value. Now keep in mind, this is using static lighting. This is not real-time lighting. This is baked in when I build the lighting. So if I was to change this back to our original value, you'll notice it still keeps the red extra diffuse boost because this is built in to our baked lighting. If we were to build our lighting out, now that I've changed it back to the normal value, go ahead and give it a few seconds to build our lighting. When you use boosting or you increase your light maps, you are going to increase your build time. So you need to keep that in mind. Once it's done, you're going to see that the left hand side, the boost lighting is going to disappear. and We're going to have that more subtle bounce lighting because we're not increasing the boost at all. So that is what your diffuse boost does. Maybe, for example, you have a red tapestry and you want to give it a little bit more of a pronounced effect on the walls and where the lighting bounces off of it or stained glass you could boost your boost a, boost your boost you can increase your boost a little bit to give it a little more of a pronounced effect it works really good with our 
stronger colors like our reds and our yellows and our greens. Our last setting is going to be export resolution scale. This one I can set to 100, but you'll notice it's going to clamp to 16. This basically scales the resolution that the materials attributes were exported at. Basically, if you need more detail than you already have in your light mass, go ahead and increase this number up. It will increase the amount of time that it takes for your light mass, of course, to build. But it's useful for adding a little bit of extra detail to light mass on objects where you actually have the need for it without increasing it globally. So that is our light mass properties section. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.